clients are still buying traditional media without any shadow of a doubt. I'm Phil Thomas, I'm the Chief Executive of Can Lions, which is the global advertising communications festival for creativity. It takes place each year in Can, hence the name, uh, every June. And we have about 25,000 entries from 95 countries across lots of different categories, not just print. Um, and about 10,000 people attend the event. What we can see, because we're totally global and totally platform neutral as SA, is we can take a snapshot of the media mix and the way that advertising is going. In terms of um, the winners at Cannes, um, historically it's been very much a Western European, American dominated um, playing field really. What's happened over the last few years, uh, as you can't probably imagine, is things have shifted east. So you get India starting to win, you get China starting to win, the Middle East is coming through, South America is very strong. In the great old days of the 70s and 80s, London and Soho was really the centre of the universe when it came to advertising. Um, to say that's changing is a major, major understatement because new countries are coming in and really stealing the position that the United Kingdom has had for many, many years. Most clients no, are no longer looking at their, at their communications mix purely in terms of media, pure, purely in terms of bought media. So the days of buying TV, buying print, um, buying outdoor have kind of gone and what they're looking for is uh, the, the acronym that people often use is PESO so that's paid so what am I going to buy and where am I going to buy it earned how am I going to manage my PR um, shared which is more and more important which you might call social media Facebook Twitter YouTube that kind of thing and then owned which is becoming more and more important which is what do we as a brand own in terms of our own media? So that's our own websites. Maybe we have a magazine, maybe we have newsletters that go out, that kind of thing. There's no reason why media owners can't get into that playing field as well. There's no reason why media owners can't talk to clients about, we can do your owned, so we can create your website, so we can make your magazines, and we can manage your, your shared media if we have those skills in social media. So, so just selling pages, I think, is a dying art and creating a communications mix is, is the way forward. I think the real big question for media owners right now is are we going to sit here and continue to only have a quarter of this pie? Because we could do that if we want. But unfortunately, from what I'm seeing anyway, that pie is getting smaller. The question is have we got the skills to get into this conversation and actually be part of the solution. Because if you're not, then the agencies are going to steal it. They're just going to do it for you. And I believe that many, many media people have got the skills to present to clients the other three bits of that. We have an integrated category within CAN. It's probably the most highly sought after, the most respected category that we have, because if you can present a truly integrated campaign, which is much more than saying, we've done something on print, we've done something on digital, we've done an iPad app, blah, blah, blah. It's much more about the whole working together. If you can provide that for clients, that is the holy grail. There are some things that traditional <coughs> print really can do brilliantly that nothing else can do. And the print that wins it can tends to be quite simple, impactful, beautifully made, so using real, real craftsmanship. And um, so here are, some, here are some winners, for instance, that, that's for UNICEF. That is a grave from Congo that is exactly the size of a child, so that when you open the ad, the copy says, this is, this is physically one out, one out of eight graves in Congo are the size of this page, because so many children die in Congo. A powerful, emotional, or indeed amusing message is is that's where you get the punch through and some of the examples that i showed are wonderful pieces of writing and that is definitely a move that's there is lots there are lots of examples of really wonderful copywriting in the print category pure simple um, print ads can still be incredibly powerful and very wonderful and i've shown some examples of that today as well